we are here at the United Nations Environment Assembly at the United Nations offices in Nairobi, the Kenya capital. And I am riding the first ever electric tuk-tuk by Dave Tuk Tuk Company. We are going to be seeing how this tuk-tuk works as this company is working together with other stakeholders towards a pollution-free um, environment or rather pollution-free planet. Ancher, who works for Dave Tuk Tuk Company, is going to show us exactly how this machine works. Well, we've been seeing how the environment is being affected by all the diesel run and petrol run vehicles that are there. And we decided we would first think about the mass market. That is our Tuk Tuk riders who spend a lot of money riding, driving people around Nairobi, driving people around Mombasa, around the country. But are they really making any returns? So we thought of a way to combine both of it, both them and the environment. This is Kenya's first ever electric tuk-tuk. As you can see, it has no engine. It runs purely on electricity. This is the charger that you use. And it doesn't, it doesn't require a special socket for you to charge, with the, to charge your tuk-tuk with. You just simply plug it into any socket anywhere at home, at a restaurant, wherever you want to go. And this is the charging port. You charge it for about eight hours with three units only, and it's also 10% of the operation cost of a normal tuk-tuk. And unlike a normal tuk-tuk that can only carry two passengers plus the driver, this can carry four passengers plus the driver. Yeah. It's about $3,000 if you're buying it from Mombasa. If you're buying it in Nairobi, it's about $3,200. Yes. So tell me, Ajahn, is, uh, is it safe? How, how different is it? What is the advantage of having this tuk-tuk? Well, in terms of safety measures, as you can see, there's safety belts all around. I saw on your banner you were talking about no emissions. Could you please tell us a little bit about that? The reason why it's no emissions is because there's no engine and it's not a hybrid like other smart cars that are in Kenya. This one is purely electrical. That means it runs on fire. 